What's you guys, in this video we're taking a look at how to buy a used computer without getting ripped off. Now quite a few people uh, buy used parts online and there's plenty of scammers out there ready to take your money. So it's important that you follow some of these basic steps to make sure that you get the right PC for the right money and make sure that you're not getting ripped off and end up losing all of your hard earned cash. Now today you can build a new PC for sometimes the same price as it will cost you for a used PC. You just have to make sure you do the research before you go ahead and thinking that used parts are always cheaper because sometimes they cost just as much as it would to build a brand new PC. So first let's start off with checking the value of the hardware and don't overpay. That's really important because you can go on eBay and places like that and check the prices of previously sold items on their website. Now this doesn't necessarily mean that this is a fair price to pay. You, that is down to you to find out how much you're willing to pay for that used hardware. Remember it is used and it could have problems. Why is the person selling it? These are the things you have to ask yourself when you're buying a particular piece of hardware. What conditions it in? Uh, does it have any sort of damage to it or anything like that? So check all of that before you buy. Next up is use your computer under full load. You need to make sure that you test all of the computer components in that build. And this also means that the seller needs to prove that the PC is in good working order. If you start seeing high temperatures under load like this and they're scary high, then walk away. Any artifacting or artifacts on the screen when you're gaming or doing some sort of benchmarks, then you need to walk away. It means there's a problem with the PC. Any blue screens, any crashing or anything like that, then you need to obviously walk away because there's problems with the hardware. Now, sometimes when you're buying PCs from places like eBay, you do get that little bit of added protection where you can send the item back if it doesn't work. That's if they accept returns. So make sure that it does say they accept returns. Otherwise, you're going to be in trouble trying to return the item that is faulty. That tells me that sometimes these sellers are a little bit fishy and I tend to not buy from them. But if you are looking to uh, buy used hardware or computers, it's important to run simple tests like Fermark Pry95 and other testing like Cinebench just to make sure that the PC is functioning properly and it's not going to cause any problems, any crashing, artifacting on the screen or anything like that, then the PC is no good and it's not worth buying unless it's listed as uh, for spares and repair. Then you know there's something wrong with that hardware. Now, if the seller who is selling the uh, PC can't be bothered to make a short video doing those tests for you because of the climate we're living in and posting that video on YouTube as an unlisted video, then I wouldn't really bother buying PCs from that person. So you want to check also the age of the PC and check the hardware specifications of that PC. There's so many sellers out there now that are selling PCs online and they don't list the PC uh, correctly. And you go ahead and buy that item thinking it's something it's not. And you may have trouble getting your money back. So make sure that it does have a returns policy if it's not as it says on the article. Now, if you're buying it from places like Craigslist and places like that, make sure you buy it from the person's address and not from a public place. That way you'll have somewhere to go back to if there's a problem. Watch out for articles like this one. Ultra fast gaming PC, i7 quad core 16 gigabytes, NVIDIA GT 1030, DDR5 uh, HDMI, and also 500 gigabyte hard drive. When you start looking at the specs here, you can see uh, the warranty and returns here are no returns for these PCs. They also claim there's a bunch of games that it can play. This is another common thing that people do. But look at the processor here. It's an i7-8060, which is really old. And the problem is they're dressing it up as if it's some sort of modern day computer. It's got DDR3 and it's also got a GT1030 in it. Uh, two gigabyte. It's not going to be much good for uh, proper gaming, but it will play some games. And they've listed some games here uh, that it will play, but it will probably play these at very low frames per second and very low uh, resolutions. Now you can see here, you can buy this processor on AliExpress for £27, which means 
the markup is pretty good for these PCs. So what they do is they generally buy a bunch of these from places like AliExpress and pick them up and put them all together and make PCs with some fancy RGB and make it look like it's a modern day computer. And they get the angle just right like this one. And then you can see here, ultra fast gaming PC, they're using that terminology again. And all of a sudden you're gonna be end up buying a really old computer. It's really old parts inside here. This one has no returns accepted, which means when you buy it, that's it. You're literally buying this and you're gonna be buying an old PC. Now it's already had a hard life. This processor is an i7-860, which is a pretty old processor, which was released in September 2009. And you can pick up the motherboards for these processors pretty cheap, as you can see here, 36 pounds, you can probably get them cheaper. And some of these may be ripped out of old Dell Optiplexes and old machines like that. You can pick up the RAM pretty cheap from AliExpress as well. Now there's plenty of this old hardware around and there's also plenty of old machines around from old offices, which they then rip out and put into modern day cases to make them look like a new PC. Adding RGB to an old PC can make it look pretty modern, but it is still a very old PC inside. So make sure that you're not getting duped by uh, buying a PC with some fancy RGB. Now it's also important that all of the parts inside there can actually do what they claim it can do. So if it's a gaming machine, you wanna make sure that it can play all the games that you want it to play. Now the thing that they can do is literally say that it can play a certain game, but it will play that game at 720p and you'll probably get 20 frames per second and they can then claim that it can actually play the game but make sure it can play the game at the frame rates that you want it to play at and that the resolution that you are expecting it to play at. It's your duty to find out whether that is possible with that particular hardware and that computer that you are buying. Now, another thing you've got to watch out for is the hardware inside of the PC. Make sure that they are good enough for what you need to do. Sometimes a lot of these hardware are ripped out of old Dell Optiplexes or Office PCs or even server-based PCs, and they put them in another case with some LED or RGB fans and call it a gaming PC. Sometimes the power supplies in these and the motherboards are proprietary and you're gonna run into problems when it comes to upgrading. So make sure that it has got proper legitimate uh, hardware in there which can be upgraded or changed out at some point. Now, another common thing I see online is when people selling PCs with bundled software in it, Adobe products, office suites, and all that sort of stuff like video editing software. All this is very expensive software. And if you are buying a PC because of that, then make sure the software is legit and it's got legitimate keys with that. And it's not some sort of pirated software. If they've got no way of proving it, then obviously it's just bogus and it's not worth buying it. Now, by following those simple steps, you're gonna make sure that you get the best possible used PC for the money and also you're not going to get ripped off you're going to be able to filter out all of the dodgy people selling dodgy pcs online to be able to work out whether it's worth buying that used pc or not or whether it's worth building your own sometimes checking the prices between used and new is a good thing to do as well and also check to make sure that all of the hardware in those used pcs is of the same era. If it's a really old processor like 2009 and they've got a graphics card in there, which is three or four years old, you know you're gonna have problems like stuttering, micro freezes, and also bottlenecking because of the architectures from different eras. Anyway, I think that's gonna be about it for this video. Hope this video has been some use to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you need any more advice, you can always pop on our Discord server I'll be happy to help you if you've got a PC that you've seen and you want me to look it over, by all means, come on there and show me the link and I'll do my best to help you make the right decision. Or maybe used is not your thing and you want to build a new PC and you've got a certain type of budget, but you don't know uh, what to do or where to get parts from or what parts go well with each other. By all means, pop on our Discord server. We've got plenty of technicians on there that have been in the business for a very long time that can help you choose the right parts for your PC at the right budget. Anyway, I think that's gonna be about it. Take it easy and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now.